I'll admit it, I'll admit it. Do you think Clarence really care about Queen? Okay, so look. No, he a clout chaser. Stop. <laughs> I cannot speak on the topic of Queen, okay? And the reason why I cannot speak on the topic about Queen is because I... I'm not allowed to speak about public things that are not out to the public yet. There we go. <laughs> Clarence does not care about Queen. And no. <laughs> By the way, just to answer your question. Honestly, look, Queen's not innocent. Clarence is most definitely not fucking innocent. Especially how they were acting in her Florida baby. together. She posting all these dinkers but not posting her own baby. She got rid of CJ <laughs> for her career. Oh, oh. She got rid of baby CJ for her career. She's talking about how she has to secure the bag first. Bitch, worry about your baby. You have a whole child. What the fuck are you doing? The the picture of Queen sitting on the bar stool was a little rough. A little rough? That shit was rough as fuck. Y'all seen Chris and Katie on the shade room? I sure motherfucking did. Chris? Chris is a thought. Katie's a thought. I, what? Oh, no, I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> Yeah, Chris is a thought. Katie's just clout chasing because she know her career died after she got off of my wife and kids. But how do I feel about Queen and Clarence? Yo, I have so much fucking tea to spill on the topic. I really do. But I really cannot make a video about it. <laughs> not yet. I have a lot to say, though. But I'm not going to say too much. Don't spill it yet. I'm not, I'm not going to spill the tea yet just because it would hurt somebody that I actually know. And bring unnecessary stress, cause like I don't, I don't like to start drama, but like I talk on other people's drama, and like if they have something to say, then I'm going to fucking say something back to them. But I'm not gonna, especially because like nobody knows this yet, and I'm not gonna say anything because it's um, yeah. <laughs> Y'all pretty much know who it is though. Yeah, when the drama happened, then let it all run out. Yep. Oh, no. Did y'all guess who it is? Uh-oh. I wonder. I remember somebody saying something about something that happened with Queen and Abby. My memory is failing me, though. I wonder if... I wonder. <laughs> Give us a hint about the Queen and Clarence tea. Like... Is it something bad? Who is it going to affect more, Queen or Clarence? The tea that's, that'll be spilt will affect the both of them. Yep. Is Queen going to be at Playlist? Um, I'm sure she will. Mm. Y'all are going to get Thailand in trouble. I know, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to like, I'm going to try and like throw, I'm trying to throw subliminals at this tea. That I want to spill without me directly saying it, you know? How long do we have to wait? Honestly, how long do we have to wait? That's a fucking good-ass fucking question because I'm asking this particular person the same fucking question. I'm asking that person the same fucking question. When is the tea going to be spilled so I can talk about it? When tea is ready to be served, I will serve the tea if the tea can be spilled by me does that make sense like i'm waiting for the green light y'all notice queen been lying a lot what hasn't she lied about oh you know what here's a little dose of tea a little dose of tea how about this i recently found out i'm still trying to you know do my little investigating shit and everything like that but apparently queen stole lyrics to her song medicine from a girl and that's all I'm going to leave it at. Do you honestly think that she honestly sat there and wrote the whole song herself? Hmm. Yeah, I was rooting for Queen too a little bit. Y'all believe that shit? This is piping tea. Oh, that that's not... that. This little dose that I just gave you is just scratching the surface of everything that I have to say about Queen. Like, people just seem to forget that... She was a part of scamming. She put her, her whole baby's life in danger. She did so much, like, stupid things. But all of a sudden, she breaks up with Chris. And then the whole YouTube community and world just feels so oh so bad for this girl. Like, she's the same person. And the thing is, is, like, her family is saying the same thing about her. 
her her closest friends have been saying the same thing about her. Like, Queen is not innocent. That's the thing. Like, I just, oof. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are you going to make a video on it? Yeah, as soon as I can get the green light. <sighs> I mean, they have to. They have a kid. Yeah, honestly, Queen, y'all, like, when Chris and Queen were scamming people out of all that fucking money for those iPhones, like, people were threatening to kill them. People were threatening to find them, like, Asking Queen's relatives like where they lived at so that they can go shoot up their house. And baby CJ was born, by the way. Um, the job not like baby CJ didn't even have a like a stable bed to live on on some point. He was like I mean to sleep on at some point. Um he was sleeping on the couch as a little toddler. Like oh my god, they had guns pointed at their house, like mm. I started to like Queen. Honestly, like I feel like I feel like Queen could do so much with with her potential. And honestly, she's showing it, but that still doesn't erase like everything that she's did, everything that she did. And you know what? I can get you know past the past, but the thing is, is like she's she's still the same person and still doing the same shit, but more scandalous. Like. Uh. I'm just now hearing this. Yeah, Queen Queen scammed. A lot of people don't know that Queen scammed just because like she started getting more media attention after she ripped off the lyrics off of her song for medicine and claimed it as her own. A lot of people were like, Oh no, she got into a breakup. Like I feel so bad. She's so pretty, she can sing. But those people that are saying that still don't know like her her background and what actually has happened. That's the thing. Yeah, they scammed people using iPhones. They sure did. She plagiarized the lyrics to medicine. Technically, she plagiarized... Well, technically she didn't because those lyrics were not copyrighted. So, whenever she posted the song, nobody can take it down because she can claim it as her lyrics because those lyrics weren't copyrighted. Who do you think is clout chasing more? Clarence Tay or Mod the God TV? Honestly... How do I say this without saying too much? I feel like Clarence is using Queen and then Mod the God knows I I they know who Queen is. Mod the God's the hype man, the wingman of Clarence. So Mod is going to make sure that he gets his, you know, his coins too and his little clout from everything like <laughs> Yeah, I'm that's all I'm gonna say for right now. <laughs> When this whole Queen and Clarence wave is over, who do you think is going to get hurt more? The viewers. <laughs> the viewers are going to be mad upset to realize how fucking fake they are. What about <laughs> Ari and... You moved it, you died. ...and King. I don't know who they are. Oh, Ari. Oh, the manager's daughter. She... I have so much shit to say about her, too. Like, y'all, I can't say it. But I just, she's just, she's annoying. <laughs> she's annoying. That's what I think. Do you think Chris should change the YouTube channel name? Honestly, Chris should have been changed the YouTube channel name. Only reason why he's keeping it is so he can still get views from Queen.